Hello and welcome to another episode of Let's Play with Aspo Witch. Uh, we are playing our Venice campaign in uh, Europa Universalis 4. We are trying to get the achievement Masters of India. But right now we are not fighting in India, we are fighting in Eastern Europe. We have, a way, uh, we have some way to go before being in India. Uh, now, last episode I was not sh really sure what we were going to do, but I think I have made up my mind. Uh, we are going to fabricate a claim on Constantinople, and we are pretty soon going to be eating up the Byzantium Empire. Byzantine Empire. Uh, they are allied with Aragon and Serbia, but Serbia... Well, Serbia would be a threat, but they are already at war. So my hope is they will not uh, come to war. Uh, they will not honor the call. I'm not sure. If they do, well, we'll just handle it somehow. And they are allied with Aragon. But uh, as I found out, Aragon lost their union with uh, Naples. So they just have a few provinces here, and then they have Spain. Uh, also, they have a truce with us, so they might not accept uh, for that reason. Well, anyway, uh, for now I'm going to gather up my fleet, uh, and I'm going to separate my light ships, and I'm going to send them to protect trade, because that's a good idea when they're not doing anything else. Uh, did I have a mission? Yeah, yeah. To make it a core over here. Let's hope it works out this time. Uh, now, declaring war. Serbia and Aragon, they rule over Athens. France won't come to, move, won't come to war, but maybe I could find an ally who would. I'm not sure. What happens if I ally like Poland? Because uh, I have, should have, yeah, three out of four. So let's ally Poland. Poland and see if they want to go to war. Oh, diplomats. Two, one, go. Uh, oh yeah, I recall that one. No, no Polish help this time. But anyway, I think we'll be fine. Five, six, seven troops. And uh, should Serbia enter the mix, we can just get lots of um, mercenaries to take care of the business. So for now we are going to declare war. Of course we get patriots in Hudavendigar. What else is new? This time I'm going to cancel the Coring. I'm going to let them take it. I'm going to lose prestige, but I'm not going to bother since. Uh, so, oh, Serbia dishonored call and allied them straight away. Such a douche move. Oh well. I forgot to bring in. A leader. Or did he just die? Die just now? Pause the game. Oh my god. Um, 33, so yeah, that guy. Monastir. Here, we can pick up a leader. Oh my god. 315. That's a good guy. 
And my ships should be able to blockade everything. There we go. Go to Kaya. Detach Siege. Detach. And then Constantinople. Do they have... No, they don't. They have no more provinces. So there we go. We will probably run to Athens, where we will stack white them. Now, war exhaustion or tradition? How's our tradition? 32-21. War exhaustion is already pretty high, so I'm just gonna go with losing tradition. It'll be fine. We will get our traditions back, or something like that. I don't know. Uh, they have troops in Constantinople, but that's not going to help them. Now, I'm not sure what my plans are, if I'm going to fully annex them, or if I'm going to leave some things. Well, Constantinople is a nice part of my little Venetian blob here. Oh, look at that, Thessaly. Let's siege that as well, then. <laughs> um, I like you. Uh, what are the religions here? We have... Orthodox. One, two, three, four... Promise provinces. And then we have a lot of sunny provinces. One thing I've been thinking about is going orthodox for the Patriarch Authority achievement. Getting that as well while I'm while I'm um, messing about. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure about orthodoxy. If it's good or bad. Can I? No, I can't look at it. I can do like this, right? What does Orthodox say? Cheaper stability and tolerance. That's not gonna help me. Uh, then I'd rather have a cardinal for cheaper tech. Uh, no. Let's see. Another one of those episodes where I forget to set the timer, so I have no idea how long this episode is going to be. Hopefully, I'll be able to cut it short. And not go half an hour. We'll see. We'll let this war speed out. Speed 5. Not a lot of things to do at the moment. Stacking up points. Oh, there's the Hood of Indigar Patriots. You know what? I'm gonna accept your demands. Good thing, right? And it's getting more and more expensive. You know what? I could. No, it's not worth it. Not for one province. Maybe when I get the rest of them, but I want to be. Converting it, coring it, already. Uh, zero revolt risk. No, please. Minimum revolt risk, minus 16.3%. What's that about? How is it... I don't get this. Oh, well. Oh, wait. 18% nationalism. Ooh, yay. 14.95. Morea. Great. Let's take Athens. I don't like nationalism. 
it hurts me. Maybe I could just uh, vassalize Byzantium. Actually, because they're, they're a bit larger. They have two, three, four provinces. So that might actually be worth the ten Republican tradition. I'm not sure. That's 200. 200 uh, points. Castile goes Pope mode. Now let's see if we can get their last prize. Uh, 94, we're going down to 84. It's going to be worth it. And we get military tech, finally. Oh, Turkish rebels. Hedavendigar, we don't need more revolts in Hedavendigar. We need less money. Definitely. <laughs> uh, I have mercenaries, right? Let's get rid of those. Pierce. Why is the Pierce red? Ah, because Byzantium has a core on a Pierce. Oh well. This war will be over soon. Ismit. Oh, zero percent. Ah, this is so slow. Ouch! Thirty-three prestige of one stability. Well, prestige is... I get a lot of prestige fighting my wars. Stability, on the other hand, is expensive when you have uh, a lack of Republican tradition. 30% more stability cost modifier. Uh, to top it off, I think... Yeah. It's gonna be expensive to increase our stability, so I'm just gonna lose the prestige. Even though it brings me to negative 21. Um, because being at high stability gives me, I don't know, trade power, less revolt risk, which is nice, and mission strength. Diplo rep and force limits. Cheaper galleys. Uh, let's see if we can get this war out of the way. I hate this event. But I'm not gonna pay you 150 points. I'd rather, much, I'd rather lose it. A broad nationalist in a virus. Oh well. Maybe I can take care of them. You know what? I'm just gonna detach and I'm gonna go take care of them straight away. So we don't get any trouble from nationalism more than it already is. I don't want to lose. Oh, there we go, 100%. Now, let's see what we can get in this piece. Constantinople and Achaia. We have claims on those. Uh, we could... Or we're not gonna give them... Or make them give territory to the Ottomans, that's for sure. Achaia um, and Morea. Hmm. Yeah, that would. Hmm. Oh well. One hundred and nine percent. That sucks. Well, let's. Um, we don't want Athens. 
prestige. We're gonna take. Okay, I'm constant and noble. 36% more exhaustion. So that's another 48% on top of. Well, it won't be over 100 at least. At least that's something. Uh, Thessaly and Athens, I'll leave. As well as Morea. Or do I want Thessaly? Oh, it's not 28%. We'll get it later. Albania. Revoke their core. Nah. I need my Diplo power. Um, yep, that one is free. We could take... Let's take some money. And then we could take military access. And just... Yeah, let's do that. Now military access will... Probably cost us... Twelve percent. Get it down to. S hmm. I don't know. Not worth it. Not worth ruining my diplo power over. Oh, there we lost. But we have one hundred power protection for taking provinces from the Ottomans and Byzantium, which is nice. Austria can go die in a fire. The Mamluks. Now this is what we want. Having Mamluks as our rival. How's Hedvendigar going on? 54%. 6%. It's expensive. How about... Oh, 30. Let's... Let's beat up Achaea. Uh, well, you know what? Let's actually call that an episode. Venice has grown somewhat. And uh, for the next episode, we can hopefully get our mission to take care of Cyprus. We'll see. Uh, for now, be sure to like if you like. And subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you in the next episode. So long.